guys? Welcome to another edition of Market Marauders. Beating the market one trade at a time. So today is the day that everybody's been waiting for. Today is the day Tyronis Fuels is finally tradable. So if you look at uh, Tyronis Technologies today, uh, their price was down to $0.38 cents a share. Um, and on their five-day chart, uh, they've been going down quite a bit. Uh, they went down uh, from about fifty-four cents, which is their high on their five-day, to about thirty-seven cents. Um, but today, the fuel shares are finally tradable. Uh, if you guys know, have been following the channel, uh, been looking for these fuel shares to be tradable for forever now. It's been like the longest uh, stretch of time, really. But they're finally tradable. Uh, so I know a lot of people are happy about that. Um, they're an OTC market, so uh, Robinhood doesn't support OTC market for you guys who are trading Robinhood, but you can sell them, uh, and they do exist, so that's always a good thing. Uh, first things first, smash that subscribe button down below. Uh, if this information is helpful to you and you want to know more about uh, TRNX or more about trading options and stocks, uh, so let's dive into this. So, for me, jumping into our Robinhood portfolio, I have TRNX. Uh, so I've had them for quite a while. It says my average cost twenty seven cents. Uh, I've had them for a super long time. Uh, so I bought them before they had their spinoff uh, and had their declaration of dividend shares. So my five hundred and three shares uh, when they did their five to one split became. 2,515 shares. So you just do the math on that. That's how many shares I got uh, from that split. So today they ended uh, the market at 14 cents, um, which was, you know, pretty low, but they're tradable. So I'm happy about that uh, regardless. Um, I think, you know, it's going to go up uh, because there are a lot of positive news surrounding the fuel side of the company. Um, and I think, you know, they're really moving in the right direction uh, when it comes to the fuel side of the company. Uh, so let's dive into some of the uh, press releases <coughs> from Tyronis uh, Technologies website. So if we go to uh, Tyronis successfully delivers final USDA presentation. So this is on the 13th. Uh, sustainability technology company patented water to decontamination and conservation application today announced that it successfully delivered its final technical brief in United USDA on February 12th. Company recently uh, competed a 18-month technical validation of its water decontamination technology, which is funded part by a USDA grant sterilization of animal waste. So basically this is uh, their side of the company that's going to be uh, decontaminating water, I mean decontaminating waste uh, from uh, wastewater from pigs. Um, so that's what this side of the company is. Uh, so there's Tyronis Technology, Tyronis Fuels, Tyronis Water, and Tyronis Health. So there's Toronto's Fuels, Toronto's Technology, Toronto's Health, Toronto's Water, and the Water Pilot. Okay, yeah, I forgot the Water Pilot. So the Water Pilot is the last one um, on that. So this is uh, Toronto's Water, I think, is this section. <coughs> Sorry, guys. It gets a little fuzzy when it gets into, you know, the different areas of Toronto's Technology because there's so many branches of it. Um, but... You know, I think this is the Toronto's water side of it. Going to another press release. This came out the 18th. Uh, today's 26. So this says Toronto's host Turkish delegation at Florida production facilities. Um, just reading, reading over this briefly. The purpose of the meeting was to provide an in-depth account of the production capabilities of Venturi Plasma, Venturi Flow Plasma ga Arc Gasification Technology, and to demonstrate the superiority of Magna Gas as a renewable and safe alternative to acetylene. So basically, they're just showing the Turkish uh, ministry in the U.S. their capabilities of what they basically just bought. So 
if you guys don't know uh, or haven't been following the stock uh, or the company, Taronis uh, Fuels made a contract with Taronis, I mean with Turkey, so that they could have their plasma art gasification technology used um, and replace acetylene in the country of Turkey. So this is them basically showing them on U.S. soil what it does. Um, yeah, it says executives from Tironis also provided a detailed update on the status of manufacturing of uh, the five 300 kilo kilowatt Venturi Plasma art gasification units for delivery under initial $18.75 million purchase order scheduled for delivery the second quarter of 2020. So that's a pretty big deal. Um, I know they had ordered uh, five to begin with, but uh, said they needed more, so... You know, the second quarter of 2020 uh, is when we're going to know about that. And I think that uh, begins in April, if I'm not mistaken. So watch out for, uh, you know, April to see uh, what their revenue is and how that has increased. I think it's going to be a pretty good metric. And I definitely can see the fuel uh, uh, valuation going up even more from $0.14 cents, uh, based on uh, their revenues from you know, delivering their first batch of plasma art gasification technology, the Venturi Plasma uh, art gasification technology to Turkey. So, going to the news, uh, Turkish Fuel scheduled first delivery of gasification unit uh, to Ankara. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Turkish Fuels is nearing completion of its first Venturi 50 kilowatt plasma art gasification unit for delivery to Ankara, Turkey. So this is unit number one. Uh, delivery and commissioning of the unit represents the first successful deployment of the Tironis gasification unit into the Republic of Turkey. Tironis is currently scheduling a high-profile ribbon cutting ceremony in their Turkish joint venture facility in Ankara. Prominent government officials and key commercial leaders are and members of media are expected to attend the event, which will feature a demonstration of the unit operation, a metal cutting demonstration, and several keynote speakers. Toronto's ex executed a 50-unit marketing agreement with MC Consulting in December 2019. MC Consulting successfully orchestrated the launch of a large-scale joint venture, venture to serve the entire Turkish market for metal cutting fuels. MC Consulting has also played a key role in the proposed ban of acetylene for metal cutting use in Turkey. So basically Turkey has, you know, banned acetylene and they're going with uh, this Venturi Arc uh, technology that is being used by Toronis Technologies or Toronis Fuels. So pretty big deal. Um, and this is going to be something that's, you know, going to be shown to a lot of people uh, and is a pretty big deal because it's the whole country is going to be tuned in to see how this works and I suspect the orders are probably going to be coming in um, which will definitely boost the revenue and have more contracts for the Toronto's fuel side so the current price you know is 14 cents but I definitely see that in the near future going up uh, quite a bit um, I know on Robinhood it won't let you buy more but if people are out there using other platforms uh, that can buy more shares, I think it would be ad advantageous uh, of you to do that. Because I don't think it's going to be a penny stock for much longer, um, in my opinion. Now, the Toronto's technology side, TRNX, um, I don't know the future of that one. Uh, I can't even guesstimate on what's going on with that one. But for the fuel side, you know, I definitely see potential in that growing uh, way more than 14 cents to being more valuable than Taronis Technologies stock at this current moment. So, jumping into the last one, uh, Taronis Fuels to begin trading. So, this basically just explains uh, the whole premise of the video. Uh, clear SEC uh, comments, which was the comments that they had, and... Uh, it says initial valuation indicates over $75 million market capitalization. So if you guys have been, uh, are invested, it is trading, uh, publicly traded today uh, for the first time ever. And it'll be continuous trading as long as it's on the OTCQB uh, market. 
and drop a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, it's Toronto's fuel is moving in the right direction. What do you think the future of Toronto's technologies is going to be? Uh, and what do you think the target price is for Toronis, uh fuels? Do you think it's going to shoot up? Do you think it's going to stay stagnant? Uh, do you think the things that they're doing with the company as far as their fuel side is going to help the fuels only? Or is it going to help, you know, both sides of the company to grow? Uh, drop a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh,